Hey guys, Anton from Gulagin Marketing Team here. Today I will show you how to run multiple accounts in Discord. The full process of adding accounts, launching multiple accounts, organizing your stuff and making everything safe. Okay? So first of all, let's go to gulagin.com website and download Gulagin app. Okay, the app's downloaded. Now let's move on and install it to the computer. Let's launch GoLogin. If you have a GoLogin account already, you will not have to log in. And if not, you will have to create your account. So to create a GoLogin account, you can use the Google button and use the Google account or use your email. I will just have to log in my existing account. All right, so this is the main account panel that we have. See that I have three Discord accounts here prepared but I will show you the full process of actually adding your Discord account to GoLogin, okay? So let's create a new profile, give it a name, choose GoLogin proxy, go with United States as country, and residential is type. This is a normal computer imitation. Let's click check proxy. The proxy is okay. Let's click create profile. Notice that at this moment, you don't have to change or adjust anything here. So all of these options work automatically for you. All right, let's click create profile. Our profile is here. Just for convenience, let's rename this proxy. Just not to lose it or not to mix it up with other profiles. It's very convenient if you have lots of profiles and we're ready to launch our first profile. So running the profile will give you a window to operate in, right? So here we have to log in our Discord account or to create it, we'll go to Discord website and log in into our account. So you can register your new account right here. The process is almost the same. You will need to verify your email in both cases and we will add this account and verify our new login. Let's click log in and the system will detect that we're logging in from a new place. So you will likely see a capture and you will have to verify your email as well. So note that this is required only during the first log, so you will not have to do it again. Okay, now we have to verify the email. Let's do this and head over to the email. Go to the email and click verify login. And that's all the IP address is authorized. Let's switch back to our window and click login. And this is how you add your first account to the GoLogin app. So now you can browse Discord. You can do all of your work. You can add more accounts because we have only one. We can close this now. So the session uploads to the cloud. And after that, when you come tomorrow, you can continue from the very same spot you have left. All right, so I've demonstrated how to add your Discord account into GoLogin. Now I'm going to show you how to run multiple accounts at the same time, okay? So I have prepared three accounts that I have already logged in. So we have three separate IPs here. All of the lights are green, which means you're good to go. Now let's run them at the same time. See, the magic of GoLogin is you don't actually have to log in every single time. You don't have to enter codes, you don't see captures, and you don't have any verifications. And you can use all of these sessions from any location, from any device, and from as many devices as possible so you don't have any blocks or something and you can organize your stuff to actually do your daily work on the next level see i didn't get any codes any messages so i can just continue work and do my daily stuff on social media and just close it and that's it so see the sessions just continue on my three accounts so after i've done my work i can get back to the app stop the sessions the sessions just upload to the cloud and that's it. So you never actually have to log in again. That's the beauty of it. You can share the sessions to your teammates. You can organize your stuff. You can actually use this unified account panel for any social media platform, for any marketplace, from literally any website, right? So we see we have here Facebook, Etsy, LinkedIn, Google, all kinds of sites, okay? And another beauty of it all is that this is a completely customizable space. So these columns can be switched but you can also switch them on and off 
For example, we have notes and tags and sharing profiles with different people. Let's launch date, for example. So it's very convenient if you work with social media, you need to check on these daily. You can add statuses of profiles. So you can use this as completely customizable unified account panel, not only for Discord, for all of the other social media types. So this is mostly how it works. If you have any comments or questions, or you would like a specific topic covered, feel free to write in the comments. Have a good day and bye.